All right, I couldn't wait to get you into the gym. Today we're gonna work on the biceps, the muscles on the front of the arm. All right, let's do it. That's set number one, 60 seconds rest. Now, one thing that's very important when you're doing this exercise, working on the biceps, is you wanna make sure that the arms are by the side. The arms aren't gonna flare out while you do the exercise, they're gonna stay by your side. The next thing is you gotta make sure that this opposes gravity, perpendicular to the floor. The elbow doesn't come forward, that's called cheating. You're bringing your deltoids into it and making it do the work. So as you're doing your movement, you're curling up, keeping that, this part basically still. Bringing in lower part moves. Peaking those biceps, making them contract. If you start bringing the elbow forward, you'll find that the biceps don't really do the work. It starts making the shoulder work. Chest up, shoulders back. That's anatomical position. That means you're gonna have your body always in a erect posture. If you curve too much or round it out, you're gonna end up straining your body, straining your shoulders, something like that. All right, let's get ready for our second set. Let's go. set that you kind of start to push a little bit. Your first set's a warm-up set. You may use a certain weight that allows you to do maybe eight to 10 repetitions, but that shouldn't be your maximum effort. You should be able to do eight to 10, possibly you could do 12 to 15, but you're gonna stop at eight. You're gonna rest 60 seconds, and then you're gonna go into your second set. Now, if you can add weight, add weight. But this set, as you notice, about eight or so is about getting closer to my maximum effort. I probably could have squeezed out two more. Now I'm gonna to go to my third set. I'm watching my time here. I'm watching my third set is gonna be my challenge set. Now I'm starting to push the muscles to the point where they're really having to work. I'm having to really push those muscles hard on this set. And you'll notice that there's gonna be a little bit more intensity involved. All right, that's time for our challenge set. That's what it's got to look like. Okay, exercise number two is incline dumbbell curls. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, eight reps on our first set. And then we're gonna go up a little bit, maybe on the second set, if you feel like you can go up a little bit, but you're gonna do eight reps. Incline dumbbells start with, the, the bench is gonna be at about 30 degrees. That's about as much uh, incline I want. The arms are always gonna hang. Now in the first exercise, the arms are by the side. They were pretty much right in parallel with the body. Now they're gonna be hanging behind a little bit, give you a little bit more stretch on those biceps, a little bit more peak. And when you bring it up, you're gonna be bringing it up in just like usual. You don't bring the elbows forward, that's called cheating. Keep those elbows back and stretch. Let your body be relaxed, your head doesn't go back, your head stays just straight up and perpendicular and pulling upward. Shoulders back, chest up. Always anatomical position. Anatomical means you're gonna be shoulders back, chest up. All right, let me get a little water and start our second set. Hmm. yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 
facing a little bit more inward. As I curl, I'm turning them. Because when you turn the wrist, it makes the bicep peak uh, more. So as you turn your wrist, the bicep will naturally going to peak. So when I do this exercise, I start here, bring it up, and I curl a little bit in with that, with that dumbbell, allowing that peak to occur. All right, let's get ready for our challenge set. Number three. All right, eight to 10 reps. Because it became difficult, I know what to do when I want to minimize the stress on the bicep. I brought the shoulder into it, moving it forward a little bit to help me get past that hump. You always got to keep the shoulders back and keep it strict. So that was called a cheating rep. It was a good set, and I'm going to count it, but that was a little bit of a cheat at the end. All right? Let's go to our third exercise, our final exercise. All right. These are called hammer curls. See, the first thing I'm doing is I'm alternating. We're doing from side to side. The, re the reason why I'm doing that is I want to be able to concentrate more on that specific muscle. Now, you have the bicep muscle, which is on the outside. The tricep is behind. But right in the middle there, there's a muscle called the brachialis. And to train that muscle, we've got to put the arm in kind of a neutral position when I'm curling. So no longer curling forward, it's going to be neutral because I'm trying to hit this muscle back in here. That's what's going to give more fullness and thickness to the bicep. All right, I gotta watch my time here. Now, you're gonna curl it, not directly in front. I'm going a little bit across, a little bit across. That's another reason why I can't do them together, because they will hit. So I'm going a little bit across on each one. All right, just like that. Number two. Challenge set number three. Yeah. exercise and if you want to get results get good results you've got to stay with a bicep routine like this now let's review it once again I start off with the barbell curls that was with the straight bar and I curl those up remember the form chest up shoulders back anatomical position don't let the elbows go forward keep them straight by your side I went from there to the incline dumbbell curls while I was leaning back now the arms are extended behind the body as I'm curling different position and then I ended with the hammer curls working on a different part of the bicep, the brachialis back in here. Three exercises, 
four sets each. And it took me about, let's say about 30 minutes to do that. All right? You can do this. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. I'm out.